Another group is the Beatniks. Their name has something of defeat in it. They pride themselves in their non-conformity, but their very revolt serves to emphasize the norms against which they proclaim their rejection. Now John Henry, he was a little baby. He was sitting on his path as me. Lord, he gave out a long and lonesome cry. Said this hammer gonna be the death of me, not long. This hammer gonna be the death of me. John Henry was working on the railroad. His hammer was striking fire. And the mountain was so tall, John Henry was so small. Lord, he laid down his hammer, Lord, he died, yeah, yeah. He laid down his hammer and he died. <laughs> now some say he's from Texas. And some say he's from France. But I know he's just a Louisiana boy who died with a hammer in his hand, Lord, Lord. He died with a hammer in his hand. Yeah, What's your name? Michael. How old are you, Michael? Twenty. You work, Michael? No. What do you do? I write poetry. You write poetry? Yeah. Is this your aim in life, to write poetry? Yeah, it is. Had anything published? No, not as yet. No. Can you quote me a stanza from a well, poetry? Well, the only one I can remember offhand is uh, one of my early ones, and it's, uh, I turned right into heaven and saw that pothead Peter polishing the keys to the pad. That's all I can remember of it. Tell me, I'm intrigued. That key in your ear, what's that for? Well, it's purely for decoration. It's my nickname, you know. What's your Called nickname again? Jailer. Jailer. Tell yeah. me one thing, Michael. Yeah. Do you believe in free love? Yeah. Where were you educated? Berkhamsted Public School, Northwestern Polytechnic, and in my bedroom. In your bedroom? I see. You Many of them. Many of them. Do you believe in marriage? If people love each other, they are married. I see. How about you, David? I believe in it. Um, choice of the two people as individuals as well as together. You mean, if you like one another, you live together? Yes, I think one should live together for a certain time beforehand, though. What do you think about that? I don't believe in marriage at all. You don't believe in marriage at all? Would you live with a girl if you like her? Certainly. Them? How about children? Would you have children? I believe there ought to be some form of um, contract uh, written for children in the case of children. I got my brain on you. I got my brain on you. Yeah, I got my brain on you. I got my brain on you. How old are you, Sally? Sixteen. Sixteen. Where do you work? Or what do you do? Well, I work at Waterloo and I'm working in an office. I see. You, would you say you're a beatnik? No. You're not. Susie, how old are you? Seventeen. Seventeen. What do you do? I'm sure I'm typist. Are you a beatnik? No. No. Why do you come here? So I, I've got a lot of friends here. Boyfriends or girlfriends? Both. Oh. Girlfriends and boyfriends? Yeah. Would you like to marry a beatnik? No, I'm a beatnik. I don't know. <laughs> how about you? Would you like to marry a beatnik? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? Well, you can go to the east, go to the west. I don't care where you go, baby, as long as you come back. I got my brain on you. I got my brain on you. Oh, yeah. Well, there's nothing you can do, love. I got my brain on you. <laughs> What's your name? Larry. Would you like to say a few words? A few words. A few words. A very few good. Words. <laughs> very good, Larry. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, what do you do for a living? Nothing. Nothing at all? How do you live? I don't know. Who supports you? My dad. My dad. Good, uh, good my dad. <laughs> What's your name, dear? Anne. You know Larry? Yes. Are you his girlfriend? No, we're very intimate, though. You're very intimate? Yes. <laughs> together, that is. Yes, together. Very good. Tell me, what do you think about beatniks? I think they're great. You think they're great? You believe in... Well, well tell me, what is a beatnik? A great knit. A great knit, yeah. <laughs> You're a great nick. No, I'm not a beatnik. Well, you just told me beatnik's a great nick. I'm not a beatnik. You're not a beatnik? No. Anne, are you a beatnik? No. Larry, surely you are. I'm a tramp. <laughs> You're just a plain... Uh... He's a bum. He's a bum? Yes. <laughs> How much does that camera work? That camera, two or three hundred quid. We're full of flogging it. <laughs> flogging it? Well, we're falling it now and again. Where is Uncle's down the road? Uncle's down the road. Well done. <laughs> What's your definition of a beatnik? Well, I don't, I don't like the word myself, uh, 
because if you ask the average person in the street what a beatnik is, they'll immediately turn around and say, a person who doesn't wash, doesn't work, just got long, filthy hair and is a parasite on society. And you think this is entirely wrong? Yes, it is entirely wrong. Entirely wrong. Thank you very much. You've been playing together long, Ray? Yeah, about two years, Ray, you know. Two years? Yeah. What's your ambition, Ray? But it's up, I want to go play in this country where I've always wanted to be, you know. Wonderful. Yes. Tell me, I mean, this, uh, what do you do in the summer? Well, we go down to the south of France, usually cans and busk, you know, around the cafes and that, make a few bob. It's oh. pretty good. How do you get down there? Oh, we go by train, it costs £12.10 from London to Cairns, you know. Oh, I see, you sound like an advert for British Railways. Oh, it's all right. Oh, I see, and, uh, what, and, you know, in England, what do you do? Um, well, we folk singing, you know, we go busking and um, down the stations and a few folk clubs, that kind of thing, what, you know. Well, which station? Main line? Yeah, no, Piccadilly Circus Underground Station, usually. Piccadilly Circus? Oh, Saturday night. And how do you get on? Eight pound a night. Got a girlfriend? I mean, no, man, you know, I'll just get them when I can, you know. But no, I'm, I'm not living at home at the moment now, I'm living down at Brompton Road, you know, just off the old Brompton Road. Do you believe Road. in marriage? Uh, well, let's say I can't really say now, you know, so I don't really know, you know. I see. Uh, but you, you'll give it a miss for a while anyway. Yeah.